Hello and welcome to part one of my playthrough of Dishonored. Right, new game, normal difficulty, yep. Yep. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the spy master was right to insist that I send you. <laughs> Back when Bethesda Please gave a sheet. <laughs> and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home and bring good news. Hello, Dowd. Well, Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. Wait, no, you're not Dowd. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. I need a new controller. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat. So yeah, I'll be doing like I did with Doom 3, I'll be doing these two DLC missions, well, d missions, they're not, they're like, set known sub-stories, as separate playlists. No, you're not Dowd. Jeff Kerner. Are you in on the conspiracy or did you do die? I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember if he's one of the loyal ones. Hello. Here we go. I have time to play with my daughter. Yeah, yeah, the game's years old. Emily's Emily's Corvo's and the Empress's daughter. Oh shit. Okay, you win. You should go now, so Mother can see you too. Ugh. Are we even want to give me more climbing lessons? Someday we want to climb up to the rooftop. You will one day, my girl. You will one day. And you'll be jumping down to stab motherfuckers. Welcome home. 
Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. Wherever you've been. They sent him all around the aisle to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, I oversee a Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Looks like a prune. Like Campbell. <laughs> She'll see you at once. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're, They're my citizens. And we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. He wants to kill off the poet. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Oh, I look forward to ramming a stabbing stabbing you in the goddamn ship. Oh, I can't remember the animation for it. No, you stab him in the shoulder and snap his neck. I look forward to that. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? You Other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards, they're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here. Oh god, hello. She's dead. Corvo, it's all coming apart. Find, find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, something to guide the weak. That's where we come. There was nothing personal in this. Even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were Thank you for watching part one and I'll see you in part two. And someone has to take the fall. Yeah, it can't be